What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and my man Mario is here. I've never really covered a Mario game on my channel, but you should know that I grew up with the NES and Mario is one of my favorite characters and favorite franchises of all time. I played pretty much every Mario game you can name, from the goofy sports titles to all the Mario parties that seem to get worse and worse to all the mainline Mario games. I have played them all and I, I pretty much enjoy most of them. I really enjoy Mario for who he is and like I said, I my first ever system was the NES and so I, I grew up with Mario, I grew up on Mario and it wasn't until I was probably, I don't know, 12, 13 that I, I really tested out other systems um, fully. You know, I, w I was a Super Nintendo guy, I was an NES guy, I was an N64 guy and then I started getting into Xbox and PlayStation and all that jazz. Um, but for a long time Mario was like the big awesome thing in my video game life and I, I love Mario 64 to death. I really, really enjoy Mario Sunshine, um, but Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2 did not really do it for me. And a lot of you are probably like, what are you talking about? Because those are some of the highest rated games of all time. And I know a lot of people adore them for their innovation and adore them for being like the best that the Wii has to offer. But let me illustrate for you why I'm not the largest fan of these games. Um, and that is for, for two simple reasons. One, I'm not the biggest fan of the location. I really I really like the whole world building um, that I feel that, that Mario Sunshine and 64 do where, yeah, maybe the hub world isn't the most interesting, although I think the uh, the village in, in Sunshine is pretty cool. I do think the castle is a cool location. Um, but the, then there's all these, like, contained in brand new worlds. And I just felt like the planets, while a cool idea and while very ambitious, I felt like they don't really hold enough enough variety, if that makes sense. I know that there are obviously this land and that land and the planets kind of, you know, theme themselves based on um, the theme of the, the world that they're trying to go for. But I, I just, the whole open sky just didn't appeal to me. I don't know. It's just something that, that didn't really work for me. And so I'm super excited, super excited for the new 3D Mario that they're announcing at E3 for Wii U. Of course, there are plenty of really cool things that they can do um, with the uh, the gamepad, but, but I'm more concerned with the world and where that goes, and we'll get to that in a second. The other thing I'm not really the biggest fan of in this game is the camera perspective. I feel like a lot of it's based on shadow placement. I mean, just for me, that, that doesn't seem as elegant of a design as they could have done. Now, I love Mario 3D Land, the most recent, you know, kind of 3D Mario, the one for, um... For, for 3DS, I thought that game was fantastic. Actually, it's probably one of my favorite games of this generation, if you include the handheld systems. Um, but but where can they go? Where would I like them to go um, with with the new Mario? You know, I think there's a couple ideas that would be really cool. One, you know, people always mention an open world Mario. Would Nintendo ever do that? I highly doubt it. But I think it could be a very cool idea if they did do a like mission based open world Mario. But but where are some other places that they could go? You know, there's always the chance that they do Mario Galaxy 3, which I could see being a possibility. I I surely hope that they will innovate beyond that and take it somewhere new. Maybe Mario City. What if it was in a, in a Mushroom Kingdom themed city? And then all of a sudden, you know, you branched out into some different locations. They could have themed districts. They could have toads running around like crazy. They could make it really awesome. Or a very, like, lush forest atmosphere, I think, could be cool as well. It'd be like the sunshine-ish thing, which was very water-focused, amusement park-focused, but maybe forest. And, and I, I don't know what you'd go with sort of the secondary theme to, to match up with, with amusement park um, type, type feel, like the, the vacation village. Um, or, you know, what if they did something like just another high-def Mario castle, uh, but more of a Mushroom Kingdom with maybe some different locations besides the castle, and then had you branch out into a lot of cool worlds. You know, that's probably my, my big choice. Uh, my, my number one option would be, like, give me something that's as close to Mario 64 while being brand new and introducing new mechanics and using the Wii U gamepad and making it all pretty HD um, as you can get and, and put it in the Mushroom Kingdom. I think a, a callback to 64 would be great. They, you know, there was always that talk of Mario 128. It never really happened. We got Sunshine, which is a great game. Um, we've got the Galaxy games, which I do, I do think are great games, um, just not my personal favorites. So I, I cannot wait, and my fingers are so crossed that it's not Galaxy 3. Um, but I want to know what your thoughts are on Mario. I know that a lot of people are like, oh, Nintendo Mario, but whether you are the biggest Nintendo fanboy, whether you're 30 years old or whether you're 5 years old, I think you can appreciate the, the polish that the Mario games do have. I'm not talking about the secondary ones. I know some of the sports games have gotten really kind of crappy and annoying, and Mario Party 9 is like the biggest freaking abomination known to man. Um, but the mainline Mario games are always stellar, and even the stuff that they've done with, with the, the new Super Mario Bros, as, as much as I wish that stuff was more innovative, um, they are very well-made games, and I think that a new Mario game is going to do a lot for the Wii U, going to do a lot for Nintendo, and hopefully do a lot for, for the fans um, if they can deliver an awesome experience. My favorite part, like I said, of 64 and of the 3D Mario games that I love most um, is the fact that you get to venture to all these brand new worlds. And I know they're not the largest, they're kind of small levels, but I like the idea of like going and, and being in the pirate ship level, of being in the giant, you know, 
King Boo castle level, of being on the giant, you know, bomb on mountain level, of being in the weird crate. They, they just had more opportunity, I think, to do a lot of variety, and, and that's what I really appreciate about this those games. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to ask is, what do you guys think about me doing something with Mario Galaxy 2? I feel bad that I never completed the game, and I don't know if it's the kind of game that, that you guys think my commentary would go with or that you'd want to see on YouTube. Um, but if you do, let me know in the comments below. It's, it's a series I have considered doing. Um, really fun game. Even though it's not my favorite, I want to explore it all and maybe maybe change my mind. Maybe it will turn out to be one of my favorite Mario games if I get to the end and, and see all that it has to offer. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Where are some locales or locations you think Mario could go? They've done space, they've done water slash village town, they've done castle. Could they do a, an expansive, awesome HD city? Could they do a more foresty, like really dense jungle-ish environment with new enemies and new Yoshi types? Could they do just another reimagining of the castle and Mushroom Kingdom in high def? Also, what do you think about the Mario series? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, guys and girls. Hope you enjoyed. Have a fantastic day. Watch out for this gigantic purple Luma. Make sure you keep your hot cocoa safe. And until next time, we will see you all later.